Can you text your boyfriend and say, is there something you want to tell me? Oh! Can I set this down? This is not me at all. I don't just hit her with stuff like this. So we have been seeing people prank their significant others in text convos and posting it online for all of our amusement. So we're going to take a look at three different viral prank text convos and you can tell us what you think. Oh man, okay. That can get dicey. I've seen stuff like this on Twitter, all social media is a bunch. I mean, I think they're pretty funny. I go back and forth on these because I love seeing them from other people and I think it's hilarious. But I don't know if I'd ever want to receive anything like them. So this first one was popular on Valentine's Day this year. Girls would text their crush and ask them if they wanted to go on a date with them on Valentine's Day. Oh, okay. Wow, girls be shooting their shots now. I'm proud of them. I've had a crush on you for some time. Would you like to go on a date with me this Valentine's Day? I emoji who's this? It's the mother of your future kids ex. Sandra? I wonder if that was actually her. It's not? Oh no. Well that like, backfired on her really fast. I don't know what they were expecting though. If this person doesn't even have your number, are they really gonna go out with you on Valentine's Day? It's funny, but if you're really texting someone that has no clue who this is, and you're just like, what? No. That's almost an instant like, never. I've had a crush on you for some time. Would you like to go on a date with me this Valentine's Day? Is this a joke? Does Stefan tell you I had a crush on you? Nope, I'm serious and don't worry about where I found out. No freaking way, I'd love to. Stefan is so dead, by the way. Oh my gosh, that worked out for her. Success, so proud. Can't wait, I hope they work out. I wish this happened every time someone hit someone up, that'd be lit. I like the ones that actually work out. Cause first of all, it's a ballsy move to text your crush in the first place, but then also to ask him out on a date on the spot. For it to work out, that's pretty great. I've had a crush on you for some time. Would you like to go on a date with me this Valentine's Day? No thanks, and it's to her husband. <laughs> How cute. That's hilarious though. Cause at this point, you, well, if you're married with someone, you don't want to be predictable. So sometimes you gotta throw in that no. Once you're married and stuff, like this this type of stuff, you would respond with like, no thanks, like I'm good. I see you every other day anyways. I'll see you tonight for dinner. I've had a crush on you for some time. Would you like to go on a date with me this Valentine's Day? Yes, I would. Yay, I am loving these successful ones. Very simple, very to the point. Yes, I would like to go on a date with you. I like the ones that work out the most because then that kind of just gives you the optimism to think, oh, okay, I can be a little ballsy and I can go and text my crush. What if you sent it to someone that you didn't want a response from? Like you were just trying to be funny. And they're like, yeah. And you're like, I think this stuff is funny. Like if you know it's obviously a joke, like I'm gonna send you something back. I'm scared of shooting my shot. I don't really do that. I wait for like guys to come to me. It's so different now. I mean, we would pass notes, or and people still tell their friends, like I see it and with the kids that I teach, they're just like, oh my gosh, did you hear that this one person likes you? But I feel like it's a little easier to be bold through a phone. Next one is people texting their significant others, telling them they want a baby. Oh, these are so funny. I saw a few of these. I want a baby. I'm baby. I do this a lot. Like I, I'm constantly telling my friend, like I want a baby, like I want to have a baby. And then he'll just look at me and be like, not yet. I can't tell if this guy took it personally, saying like, no, I'm baby, like, you know, like, be, like people call each other baby or whatever. Or um, he's saying that, yo, he's still a child too. I'm imagining a lot of these people that are posting on Twitter are a lot younger and aren't really ready for babies, but they're kind of doing it for the fun of it. So that's hilarious, because how could you want a baby if you're a baby yourself? I want a baby. Matthew Sue has left the chat. That's so funny, like all the guys are like, Huh? A what? A what? What's that? Right? I mean, what else is there to do? I'll just, you know, get out of there. I want a baby. No. Oh, okay. Wait, but don't ask another guy. I'll do it. Wait, but don't ask. Well, we know who wears the pants in this one. He was like, wait, 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 just kidding, just kidding. Like, I guess. Maybe I have to, like, trick my boyfriend and be like, fine, I'll get someone up. No, I wouldn't do that. I want to see the timeline on this and know, like, how long it took the, after the no, like, no. Okay. Wait, no, no. Right now in my life, like with Jillian, like I would know it's a joke for sure, but if I just like received that text and like thinking it was legit, like your whole life flashes right there. I think if anything, I would want to send this one just because I think it'd be really funny. But then to receive it, it would be that immediate, 
No. So the next prank is where one person texts their significant other or friend and asks if they would still love them if they didn't have any skin. <laughs> That's so weird. What kind of question is that? You'd die from just the diseases and germs in the air if you had no skin. It doesn't matter if they love you or not. Thinking too logically, okay. Hey Jen, would you still love me if I had no skin? Probably but not in public. Whoa. Wow, that's f up. Probably, but not in public, to be honest. <laughs> Dang, that hurt me. I don't think I would be offended if my boyfriend told me that he wouldn't think I was cute if I didn't have any skin. Would you like me if I didn't have any skin? Is this like forever? Yes or no? Of course, baby. Aww. I'm in love with you for inside reasons. Aww. Okay, so he loves her for her bones. That's cute. That's sweet, but I think I personally wouldn't really like somebody if they didn't have skin because they'd look a little scary. Would you still love be with me if I had no skin? Well, first off, yes, I believe, this is a long response. Yes, I believe so. I have so many questions though, like first off, are you stuck in a bed all day, just bleeding and suffering all day? Or are you just bandaged up, able to walk around, just not able to feel things? Uh, is it just a normal person with no skin? I wouldn't want you to be, a, oh my god, my brain. Want you, this guy doesn't know what the fuck a period is. <laughs> I wouldn't want you to be alone, I'd have to put eyebrows in because you would have eyelids to close since that skin, you would have to just stare at me all. Okay, just break up with him. This fool is just stupid. <laughs> That's commitment and dedication. Chase is a keeper. He's asking the right questions. Realistically, if you didn't have any skin, like what kind of scenario are we talking here? It's sweet, but also alarming that he's really thought of every situation. <laughs> this tells a lot about a person, because like, what if we all get old and stuff and all are wrinkly and ugly and like, you're not gonna be with me, like, you know, at that point, man. Like, just cause I was uh, young and charming back in the day, and now I'm fugly, like, pfft, that's messed up. It's one of those fun trends that's not totally so far out there. It's kind of like what you just do with your friends anyway. Now it's your turn to try. Brittany, can you text your boyfriend and say, is there something you want to tell me? Oh! Then if they answer no, you can follow up and say, are you sure? Oh, yes. Oh, okay. Honestly, he might be on to me. I never text him anything cryptic ever. Okay, I'll text my mom and I'm gonna say, is there something you wanna tell me? She said no. <laughs> she said no, what? Are you sure? Yeah, why? <laughs> That's a proper mom response. I said, is there you want to tell me? No, I said the wrong thing. Can I send it again? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just so nervous I'm typing the wrong thing. Can I set this down? She's writing back. Oh. What are you talking about? Um, uh, you know. No, I don't know. This is not working. This might be the first time you guys have gotten me tr in trouble at home. Oh, oh, typing back. <laughs> My stomach. <laughs> about, question mark? I'm gonna get beat up for this one. You know. No, question mark, question mark. What's wrong? Oh, I feel bad. What should I say next? It's all, it's all Katie's fault. JK, this is for a video. It's all good. She said, bitch, LMAO. She said, lol, hey, what you mean? You know. I'll put a period. That's like assertive. I don't know what she's thinking right now. I feel like this is, a, like, this is not me at all. I don't just hit her with stuff like this. She just says, ha ha ha. <laughs> I said, I'm filming React right now. They wanted me to meme on you. It's fake, illy. And she says, I knew it. I'm not dumb. I wanted to tell you, dot, 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 dot. And then she says, that I, and then she just stopped responding. She just switched the tables on me, damn it. <laughs> he's typing. <laughs> oh wait, it disappeared. Oh, he's typing again. He's typing for too long. What if this is really long and then just a yes or no? <laughs> oh no, he said, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh wait, he's still typing. <laughs> Hurry up so we can get breakfast. I'm gonna be like, no, you know what I'm talking about. Just tell me. <laughs> I put an exclamation point, it's serious. <gasps> he said, yeah, I've always hated Animal Crossing. That's the best game ever. And he knows that's the thing that gets me mad. <laughs> you know what? I see the kind of person he is and this has really changed my opinion on him a lot. Oh, there he is. Wow, that was fast. He said, what do you mean? I said, you know. Oh my God, I feel like I'm arguing with him. <laughs> I love you. He said, what? <laughs> So, could you imagine if he like said something though and he's like, okay, I guess now you know. Oh, I'd cry. <laughs> what do I do, do I answer? Yeah. Hello. 
Hey. I'm filming. They're making me. They're making me send me messages to you, baby. <laughs> You guys gave my boyfriend a heart attack. He did, I was like, what, what? Okay. <laughs> All right, bye. We've never had like an argument. There never has been like any like situations where like I've had to do that. So he was, I, I, I can see him being like freaking out and being like, what's going on? We want our viewers to take part in the fun. We want people at home to text their significant others asking if there is something they want to tell them and then screenshot it and share what happens with us on Twitter. We'll feature the best ones in an upcoming vlog on FBE2, so be sure to subscribe. Ooh, I'm excited to see that. Oh my gosh, I love that. Yes, how fun. FBE and React, like Total, has a very large fan base, so I'm, I have no doubt in my mind we can definitely get some funny ones in there. That's awesome. Man, oh. We better have like send him candy or something if that destroys a friendship. <laughs> like, <laughs> here's a Jolly Rancher. Thanks for watching this read text pranks on the React channel. Subscribe for new shows every week. Make sure to hit that like button if you like this episode. Have you ever text pranked someone? Let us know in the comments. Bye. Hey guys, I'm Katie, a React channel producer. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Be sure to check out our merch store, shopfbe.com, and you can get some t shirts and pins and more. Bye.